This is uh, Douglas Taylor reporting live. Um, currently we are covering the uh, story in Venezuela where it seems like there's a bit of a civil war going on. And um, so apparently there's a lot of protesters that are in Venezuela right now protesting the government and a lot of their corrupt ways. And these protesters have just now started conflicting with the uh, state troopers. And this has created some type of civil riots that have gotten to be very violent and actually now have been proven to be fatal. Um, it seems that death rate is now, I mean the death toll, is now six. So within these riots, six people have died. And even though that's a small number, it's still sad that because of these assemblies of people and they're clashing, that six people are now passed away. So... We're going to keep covering the story and see what else develops, and we'll uh, bring it to you live. This is Douglas Taylor. Out. <clears throat> this is um, Douglas Taylor again reporting live. Um, there's been a new, somewhat humorous story that's uh, been revealed. Apparently, New York City's uh, mayor, whose name is Bill de Biso, his um, official vehicle, or his US, uh, his SUV that he's been known to drive, has been caught on video violating several traffic laws, which includes speeding. There's actually a video of his vehicle speeding through um, traffic illegally. And the thing that makes this a bit humorous is that this is only um, less than, this is within the months that he's just created a new sweeping traffic uh, law. So it's um, very ironic, and we'll see how the New York people uh, act towards this um, situation at the moment. But until then, we'll keep covering it and give you daily info. And this is Douglas Taylor, and I'm out. In the topic of technology, a certain company by the name of Tinder is in uh, legal trouble at the moment. Apparently... They've been giving out their users exact locations for months without the consent of the user. So throughout no type of papers or agreements have the users agreed to have their exact locations mapped out. But uh, Tinder still went ahead and did that anyway. So because of that, they're facing great um, financial troubles at the moment. And we'll stay tuned to see how this story turns out. And I hope it goes well, but I'm not too sure. This is Douglas Taylor, and I'm out. Once again, this is uh, Douglas Taylor reporting live, uh, live from the basement of my home. Okay, so in the matter of business, uh, it seems now, based on a study that has been performed in um, Certified, it is now more attractive to buyers to rent than to actually own a home. Because of the increasing home prices, apparently it is actually now cheaper to just rent the, your place of living instead of buying your own. So to all of you uh, home buyers out there, rent, don't buy.